Good morning, welcome to One Aussie Thrifter. Uh, today is the day. Salvo stores are reopening in South Australia, select Salvo stores. Brad is working diligently at his day job, but I'm gonna sneak out, gonna have a look. I don't know if it's gonna be amazing or terrible. It's gonna depend if they've actually been allowed to put stock out during coronavirus, but we're sneaking out to have a look. I'm really excited. And as Brad would say, let go. Also must remember to post these bad boys. Don't let me forget that. They are open and they seem busy. All of these car parks are taken. <gasps> Wish me luck. I'm going in. Too much for a plain style. Yeah, look, it wasn't great. I got a couple of things, um, but I had a quick chat with the staff in there and they said they actually haven't seen any of the donations that they've gotten over the last month. It was all just picked up by truck. So what was in there was actually just what they already had pre-COVID. So, it's good to scratch the itch and I got a couple of things but I think I'm gonna come back in a few days see uh, see what else is out but on to the next I forgot to say that someone in there made a huge scene about the smell of the hand sanitizer that they had provided which is actually the same one I have here in the car yeah it's a bit stinky but they're providing something for you and it's doing the job so um just shh. I just checked on my favorite Goodwill, but they were closed AF, so come through salvos. I uh, will be getting these though. Oh yeah. This is kind of cool. Mm, what do you think? I got really excited in there because the very first shelf that I touched had a great pair of shoes on it. But that was where the luck ended. <laughs> I take my hat off to all the vloggers. It's hard to film. Um, there's lots of people in there, so I didn't get a heap of footage, but there was not much to find either. I do have one more stop, so hopefully third salvos will be the lucky one. Okay, last one, and then I'm gonna show Brad and you guys my teeny tiny haul. Well, I've taken uh, three hours to source six items, so that is not fantastic. That's inefficient, but have I had a really lovely time? Totally. 
I'm going to do this again before this video even drops. Um, I really do need to find a post office and I'm praying that the post office I find has stamps because my local post office ran out of stamps during the pandemic. What? Wish me luck. See my haul. I am indeed. So it's so small. <laughs> you've been out having some fun while I've been at work, hey? Okay, I had fun, but I think I was there too early. Like banging down the door on their first day <laughs> actually didn't work. They hadn't really put things out. Well, it looks like you got a couple things here that will be able to resell, so show me what you got. Okay, alright. Wonder if I can do it in order. First item was a pair of 511 tactical pants. Oh, Pretty nice. good, eh? Pretty yeah. good. Yeah, we'll sell them. We, we've done quite well with 511 before, so... Yeah, and I don't think they've actually been worn. I think they're like new, so I've actually drafted them up at 59. Well, they've still got their tag um, spots on them, so... Yeah. Nice. That's a nice little find. How much did you pay? Uh, Nine dollars. Nine into about 50. That'll do quite nicely. Good job on those. Alright, one point. <laughs> Um, and a little super dry flannel shirt. Picked that one up for seven, which is borderline. It's a bit much. Um, drafted it up for thirty nine dollars. Yeah, we've been selling a little bit of super dry in there. Sort of that thicker will be good for winter. So. Ex that's what I was thinking. See, okay, I did I'll take good. It. I'll I did take good. It. I'll take it. Uh, Epson. 273 XL. We go through these, grab that one for $2, 29 bucks because the uh, box is a little bit damaged. Recently mm. expired. Recently expired. Um, Ink's a good one, Epson's a good brand, so another win there. Alright. Three for Make three. Make me feel better. Three for three. This was just a little fun one. This is a 1990, well, copyright 1996 uh, Thomas the Tank <laughs> Engine egg cup. Uh, I think I'm actually just going to pop that one in our china cabinet unless I find something to go with it and load it up for 20 bucks for two. That's pretty cool. Uh, but it was 50 cents and it was cute and I felt like shopping. Nice. What else we got here? Uh, this one is Queen Rock Montreal and <laughs> Live Aid. They do sell for 30 bucks. It's new but uh, might go into our drawer. I don't know about that one. Sell it or keep it? Well, how much did you pay? Uh, four bucks. That's a good little flip. We'll have to debate that one after the after the uh, recording, I think. All right. We'll put up a Do call. like a bit of Queen. A little vintage trucker's cap. It's not a cool brand. It's better if you can find like Bosch or Shell. Um, but it's a cool vintage style, and it's in really good nick. I've put it up for thirty nine dollars, shipped with offers on, but I'd accept offers. Yeah, nice little trucker. It's pretty cool. Someone will enjoy Retro. that. Retro. Um, grabbed, this is one of my first vinyl records that I've picked up to sell. Um, I was standing there comping them and this one actually has sold for over $60, like closer to $70 once. Wow. So, it, mm, it's a one-off. It uh, might be with us for a while, but I think it'll go well. It's got like a little book inside. That's very interesting. So, How much yeah. did you get that one for? A dollar. Well, if you can turn it into that, um, that's a good little flip. Otherwise, yeah, it can Walt Disney. sit in our little record collection. Over yeah, there. exactly. It's not going to take up space. I want to show you the actual record because it's in beautiful oh, it's in condition. Very good condition. Yeah. And it says Disneyland on it. Woo -woo. That's very cool. Yeah. Nice job. There were some others that were like Sesame Street and Play School, and I really wanted them. I walked around with them in a stack, but then I put them back. They just didn't comp as well. And these nice. ones, I did not comp in store, I just grabbed them. This is a wicked pair of men's merrells. They're like a leather casual walking yeah, right. shoe, not the hiking variety. So I thought that they'd probably go for less than our like hiking walking mm. shoes. But when I looked them up, people have these listed for like $79. Wow. That's not sold though, so I've undercut them. Yeah, they're a leather offer, that's interesting. Yeah. Nice little style, good condition. 12 bucks. Something different for the store. So you got about what, half a dozen items there. Um, six or seven. You spent a good time out. Three hours for six or seven items is not really ideal, but hey, I had a good time. Nice little thrift out. And you did mention through the video that they hadn't put any of the new stock out yet. So. No, they said that um, everything that had been donated, they haven't seen yet. It all just got picked up by trucks. So they've just carried on business as usual from when mm. they closed. So they might get a bit of an influx soon. I hope so. I want to get back out there. 
So thanks for coming out with me. I hope that it was entertaining. Leave us a comment if you've managed to go out and uh, find something pretty cool. Uh, yeah, pretty did you have trip. a uh, better day than I did or <laughs> was it a bit dry? Uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up for Jazzy's uh, self-done vlog today. Hey, thanks. <laughs> and uh, I will let you guys know as well, we have started using some affiliate links in our description below. You might have noticed those. Um, so they're just items that we use on a regular basis and ha are happy to help promote. Uh, so if you guys click through those, we do get a very small percentage kickback. Um, we just want to make sure we're nice and open with that. So all products that we use and are happy sort of to promote. And as we go along and start using more products, we'll probably start adding some more. Yeah, or if we change to something else, we'll make sure we update it. Yeah, so just keeping it nice and open so you guys know what we're doing. Otherwise, we will see you next time on Twazzy Thrifters. Thanks for watching. Bye. Shit, I can't turn it off. <laughs>